Today, I'm attempting to break the top World Cup records, but I'm doing it in FIFA 23. And to find out what those records are, we're watching this BuzzFeed video called Insane FIFA Records. All right, let's find out our first record. Fastest goal, 10.8 seconds by Hakan Sakur of Turkey. This one should be easy. But first, we need to find out if he's even in the game. Now, we do have Hakan Chalhanolu, but there is no Hakan Sukur in this game. So instead, we're just going to use Chalhanolu. It's still a Turkish player, and I feel like Hakan Sukur wouldn't be too disappointed that another Turkish guy beats his record. Now, to make sure we score with him as soon as possible, I have made him our striker. And as you can see, the rest of the team is made up of Brazilian players. And that's because my favorite to win the World Cup is Brazil. Now, I don't have possession, so the moment I get possession, the timer starts. Here we go. I actually did it. Let's find out our next record. The all-time leading goal scorers. Scorers? It's Klose. Klose and Ronaldo. Okay, so this is an old video because Klose has 16 goals in 24 games in the World Cup. Ronaldo did 15 goals in 19 games, which is super impressive. But for this challenge, we got to use Klose. For a player that has the World Cup record of most goals ever, this card does not do him justice at all. It's literally worth less than 80k. That is so bad for an icon, but we got to get him. Now, for this specific one, we can't go and break this record because there is no World Cup mode available for us to do it. So instead, what we're going to do is try and score 16 goals in one game with Klose or until the opponent rage quits. And to help Klose out, we're going to bring in the player who has the most consecutive World Cups with at least one assist. It's Lionel Messi. Boom. And in just a couple minutes, I had my first goal. There's one. Only 15 more to go. Well, 16, because we got to actually break the record. But if the opponent scores on me, I failed the challenge. Goal number two. No. Yes. No. What was that? First time. Yes. Slips it in. I feel one more and he's rage quitting. And right before the half, this happened. Oh, what a golazo. That was a nasty pass. I think that was Nerez. 3 nothing. Is it a rage quit? It is a rage quit. We broke the record, kind of. We're on to the next one. Pow, year with the most red cards. How many is that? 28 in 2006. The most infamous one we all know is Zidane's headbutt to Matarazzi's chest. So it's time to break this record, but with a twist. Now to complete this challenge, what we have to do is go by Zidane, throw him into our team, and then get so many red cards with my squad that I forfeit the match. Now the first course of action is to pick up Zidane. We have his baby right here. Well, not his actual baby, but his baby version of his card. So I have 2.18 million coins and Zidane is literally 2.16 so i'm using almost all my coins for this but it's worth it i need to get that red card with zidane to make this as legitimate as possible so 2.16 mil get into my team do not let my accountant know about this please boom now i have to forfeit the match before the opponent scores on me or else one of the good players on my team is getting discarded but i was determined to get my red cards is that a red is that our first red it is a straight red right from the beginning. Ren on Lodi is off the pitch. This is the perfect start. It's only the third minute. Oh my days. Yeah, his legs are broken. And a few missed tackles later, I got my next red. That's a red. Is that a second straight red? No way. That's two straight reds. Two of my defenders are already off the pitch. I'm just scared I'm going to get scored on. The seventh minute, I'm already down to nine men. We got to get one with Paquette here. There we go. Wait, was that a straight red again? Hey, no, we got to get one with Zidane. Where is Zidane? But then the unthinkable happened. No! Oh, my days. He scored. We failed the challenge, but I need the red card with Zidane. And a red I did get. Yes! We got a red with Zidane. Is it going to be a straight red, though? It may be. Straight red? Second yellow card. It's good enough. We failed the challenge anyways. Let's spin the wheel and see who we have to discard. Now, on this wheel, we have three great players and two not-so-great players. So, whichever one it lands on, I got to discard. Please, wheel. Please. Please not, Zidane. Leite. Leite. That's the keeper. That's the 70-whatever rated keeper. That is perfect. Oh, thank you, wheel. Lady, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you got to go. 
And now we got to replace him. Gene, I like your name. You're in our team. The next challenge is most own goals. Who was it? Harry Maguire? Each had an own goal in a 2002 match. So we got USA and Portugal. Now what we're going to do is take an American defender and a Portuguese defender, score three own goals, and then try to win the match. This one might be the toughest one yet. So I'm choosing America. I'm filtering on position, center back, and let's see what options we have. A lot of bronze defenders. Do we have... Oh, we have Zimmerman. Zimmerman might be the highest rated one. Do we have any gold rare center backs? No. So we're going to pick up Zimmerman and the best Portuguese center back. I believe it's going to be Ruben Diaz. We're going to pick up Ruben Diaz. Now let's go complete this challenge. All right. We got our first own goal. There's the second own goal. And now one more. This guy must be very confused. All right. No, I forfeited. You can't score more than two. Nah, man. No, we got to do two then and then win the match. That is so dumb. Okay. So I've scored my two own goals and now we got to win the match. And I took that first forfeit personally. There we go. One. And Klose scored shortly after. Chip. Klose. There we go. Two. Two. I've literally scored every single goal in this match. And I just kept scoring them. Oh my days, what a goal. If I can get him to rage quit, oh, it's gonna be so much sweeter of a victory. And a late pen would seal the rage quit. What do we take it with? Messi. We gotta do it with Messi. Panenka for the win. We got the rage quit. Let's find out our next challenge. Youngest player to ever score, Pele. He was 17 years old, okay? And the oldest player to score, Roger Mia from Cameroon. Mila? I don't know how to pronounce that. The way we're gonna break this record is by scoring with the youngest player in FIFA and the oldest player in FIFA in one match. Now, according to this website, the oldest player in FIFA is Jean-Luigi Buffon at 44 years old. But we're not gonna use a keeper to do this challenge. Instead, we're gonna use the first player that's not a keeper Keeper, which is Ruben Castro Martin, and he's 41 years old. So he's going to be our first striker, and our second striker is going to be Max Caputo from Australia. He's 50 overall, and he's 16 years old. We got to get him into the team. Now, I don't really know Ruben Castro's history, but the fact that he's 73 rated and the oldest outfield player in the game, this guy is actually a legend. And he's only 750 coins. That's fine with me. I don't have a lot of coins left. Now that I have the youngest and oldest outfield players in my team, let's go score a goal with them. And the twist is, I have to score both of these goals as power shots and they aren't very easy here we go our first chance our first chance oh my days ruben castro my fifa 23 legend that was a little too easy i feel like he's not gonna let me score another one of those especially not with my 50 rated striker but let's find out max caputo from here no and like always if the opponent scores i failed the challenge this is my chance no! And then it finally happened. Caputo. Yes! Yes! Off the bar! Bar down for the final goal. What a golazo. Keep an eye out for Caputo. That was me breaking World Cup records. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video right here.